Hi, and welcome to the July 2021 energy update. No idea what these cards are going to say. All I know is there are major changes going on in the world, as everyone is aware of. Actually, maybe some people aren't aware. Um, <laughs> some people are still asleep, right? This is all about the great awakening, spiritual awakening. It's all happening at the same time. And so I'm going to pick some cards. We're just going to see what comes up and let the conversation go from there. For those who don't already know me, my name is Linda Armstrong and I'm an energy healer and a spiritual awakening coach. And uh, I just, I'm all about clearing the energy that prevents you, stops you, forbids you to actually be your truth and live your life as you were destined to be, right? Without all this stuff getting in the way and blocking you or crushing you, keeping you down, keeping you small. It's all about expansion and really living your truth, finding what that is and just going for it. So um, that's, what, that's what I'm all about. <laughs> anyway, let's get into the cards. So I picked three decks. Um, I've used these a lot recently. So I've got the Angel Guide from Kyle Gray. I've got this really cool deck. Where's the cover of it? Cosmic Contact. Interesting deck, all right. I haven't used it that much, so no idea what it's gonna do. And then um, Tried and True, Trust Your Vibes Oracle deck by Sony Choquette. So, oh, there go the dogs. <laughs> Let's see if they don't get too out of control. Now I'll have to stop and start. Anyway, let's pick a card. That's so bad. Oh, here we go. Maybe they want to sing for us, but let's see if we can get through it without messing up the whole video. So what do we have? Manifestation. All right. Get that in there without the light. Manifestation. All right. So we're going to see what that's all about. Actually, I'm just going to pick the three cards. There they go. I'm going to let them sing because maybe they're contributing some energy to this video right now. Since animals are so in tune. All right, let's see what this one is. Okay, this says, oh, it's an affirmation for higher alignment. Okay, so that's a good one to follow up with the manifestation card. And then let's see what the third card will be. And then we'll do the reading. All right. What do we have today? What do we have today, Spirit? What do we have? Time for crayons. Ooh, I think I like that. What better way to manifest than to be in back in that child nature? All right. This isn't going to work. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry about that. The rest of my family is outside in the yard. The dogs want to be out there, but they can't at the moment because of the work that's being done. So anyway, I shut the door. Hopefully they'll be quiet now. Um, let's pick this first card, Manifestation. I mean, it's been a while since I've done a... Oh, there it is. Good. Since I've done a reading, I just haven't had a... I don't know. My energy just wasn't there for a reading. And I only like to do these when I'm in that flow of energy that wants to come through. And so let's hope that the angels are going to keep my doggies quiet. <laughs> we'll continue with this reading. So I'm going to read it right from the book, Manifestation. Um, I do think it's a perfect card, especially for these times, because so much, like we're moving from dark to light, from things being that were uncovered that we didn't really know was going on to being uncovered where everybody's waking up to what the heck has been going on at least in america actually the whole world the whole world's going through this we have the same thing going on in maybe different ways throughout the whole world right so i mean it's the whole thing about moving into fifth dimension where everything is through this energy of love so in order to get there you kind of got to bring up all that old stuff and so that's what's been happening for like the past couple of years i mean so many of my readings have always been about really dealing with the stuff that's coming up to be seen and released and let go, right? So that you can bring in more and more light. So the more you let go of those lower energies, the easier that light just flows with you and through you. So 
at these times, sometimes it feels, for some people, if you're not used to doing that, you're like connecting to the light. I mean, you can do it in so many different ways. Just finding a space where you can be quiet, where you can do something that lifts you up. No matter what's going on around you, right? It's all about raising your vibration so that you can be more of your true self, which is operation operating at a very high frequency. And so the earthly part of us that is here living on the planet, um, you know, we came here for this experience, right? We want this whole experience. We actually, when you can start appreciating and having gratitude for those lower times, like all the stuff that's going on in the world these days, the easier I think we, th we move through it and the more clear you can become and seeing what is light for you, right? So that being said, I want to come through. I'm going to read this card. So the message is manifestation is the ability to bring your thoughts, dreams, and intentions into reality. Okay, we're all clear on that. The spiritual law of manifestation helps us create from deep within energies and experiences that lead us towards greater fulfillment and purpose. All right. You are blessed to have received this angel card today for it encourages you to recognize your power. So that's a good point there because I think when all this craziness is going on, you kind of, it's easy to let all of that stuff pile up on you to where you no longer feel that power that is you, the light that is you. Um, and all the ability that comes with it for you to create a beautiful life because that outside stuff is making you think that um, it's not possible or not possible at this time or because of whatever COVID restrictions it has um, made it so that you cannot achieve whatever you originally intended to but instead let's look at okay well this is what the circumstances are how can I make the best of it what am, what am I getting from this whole negative experience to have me understand more fully who I am and where I'm meant to be? So you can always keep asking the question if you're not really clear on it. What is my purpose? Where do I best help? Where can, how can I best serve humanity? Or how can I live my best life doing things that really bring me joy? Because the truth is, as you hold more joy, that's what you're spreading to humanity because energy extends out. And when you have awareness and intention of that, you can bring yourself into these higher states and send that energy out to the world. So that's something I find that brings me a lot of peace during this time where all this craziness is going on. It's just connecting to that light, feeling that energy, expanding my awareness. And literally what I do is I pretty much just wrap the world in this blanket of love, right? Can't hurt, <laughs> it could only help. It's just feeding a, a love energy to the world and everything that's going on, no matter how crazy it appears to be. Okay, so let's continue. Uh, it says, you are a master of manifestation and whatever you focus on, whenever you focus on something, with loving thought and your best intentions, you bring that dream into reality. So that's the whole same thing, putting out the energy that you that you desire to, to swim in, to live in. If you're working on bringing something to fruition at this time, whether that be a project or an opportunity or even a miracle, I think a lot of us are looking for miracles these days, this card lets you know that it is unfolding before your eyes. And before I even read on, one thing I know too, that helps me a lot through these times is just really being in that place of gratitude for even the smallest of things that light you up because then you get more. It's just the way it works. It's the law of attraction. The more you focus on something, the bigger it grows. That's why you don't want to focus on the negative all the time. Now as truth tellers, cause I know I've been doing a lot of that lately. It's good to bring it awareness to it for those who maybe haven't seen it yet, but not to bring it with an energy of, with the, with the heavy energy, to bring it out with the light energy, to bring it out through love so that you can assist other people to expand their awareness to find what is true, at least for them, right? Okay, so it says it's very important to stay elevated at this time and focus on the positive energy, blessings, and the positive events that are happening around you as you're magnifi magnetizing even more blessings into the world. So, I mean, it's, that's manifestation. What you focus on is what will come. It's a boomerang. What you put out is going to come back to you. 
So the extended message of this card, you are one with the universe at this time and have the ability to manifest incredible experiences and opportunities. Yeah, and I think the reason this is coming up now is because there are going to be such huge changes taking place soon, very soon, to where everything's going to shift and life is going to be easier for everyone. It's a matter of getting rid of all this division and bringing in unity. So right now you see a lot of division, but why? Because it's bringing it up to the light so that people could actually truly look at it and say, is this real? Is this true for me? How can I best assist what I want to be to come through, right? So what do you want to focus on? Comes back to that. Um, okay, you're being encouraged to understand that any new opportunities arising will allow you to step up forward and move forward in your life. Your energy is aligning with pure potential and it's important to know that everything you focus on now is growing. Adapt and expand your line of energy with your energy expand in line with your energy fields what it's saying your angels are encouraging you to be open and receptive as the universe is offering you the guidance abundance support and healing that you require based on your current situation so some of that too is i mean and this has been going on not just now during covid but it's been going on for a couple of years a lot of people are coming to this awareness that what they had been doing or the way they had been living isn't isn't really resonating with them anymore and this whole COVID lockdown thing has made had people really look deeper into all of that. So a lot of people are shifting into something new, which is great because if you can bring maybe this, uh, here we go. I don't know what the card's going to say yet, but time for crayons. To me, it's like being in that childlike wonder and creating. If you bring that energy to whatever this new endeavor might be or whatever aspect of what you had been creating can shift into and expand more towards um yeah, if we can bring that fun, playful type of energy to it and create as we did when we were little kids. Yeah. Watch the manifestations grow exponentially from that point. So it finishes up with recognize the incredible gift and support, gifts and support that are available to you now. The power of the, the universe is within you. So maybe it's just a reminder not to forget about that. Because, yeah, I know I've come in contact with a lot of people and they're like, um, so focused on, because, you know, of course, the media only puts out the negative and they have their own narrative that they want you to believe. And it's, according to my truth, it's all lies. So that is what's bringing people way down. But you need to break free from that so you can go within and see okay, what is my truth? What do I really desire? How can I be of help, especially during these times? Um, I just like asking the universe, ask spirit, ask God, whatever it is that you connect with. Um, you know, show me how I can be of service. Um, you know, I just talk. I talk to spirit. I'm like, um, so So say, say, uh, say for someone who's not sure what they want to focus or where the direction is, I would just say, Show me what is next for me. Show me what area of life or what kind of um, contri contribution I can make that would really light me up, that would excite me once again, that would rekindle that energy and that drive to create. Yeah, it's all about creating, manifesting, time for crayons. I, I can't wait to get to that card because I don't know what it's going to say. Um, all right, so let me get this next card. All right, now this deck... It's really weird. It has these weird cards that you work with. So let's see. It says affirmation for a higher alignment. Oh, so oh, it's just an affirmation card. This one's easy. I don't have to find it in this deck. So it says, I am the source. In this now moment, I consciously choose to recognize everything as being part of a greater divine plan. Perfect. I love how these cards, I mean, you can't make this stuff up. They always work together. You randomly pick cards. They always have a story to tell you. Okay, it says, by choosing this way of seeing, I allow all definitions I hold to align with the highest levels of consciousness, with the light, with your higher self, with your purpose, with why you came here. I witness everything through the eyes of the infinite creative source that I am. Think of that. 
if we could be in that energy of just witnessing everything through the eyes of the infinite creative source that I am, then everything, and, and the way I feel with this, then any, everything would feel like an opportunity. Like, um, I don't know, a new puzzle to solve. Like from this explorative, excited energy. What's next for me? Okay. And all the craziness in the world, what can, what can I do that can contribute to, and, and, you know, it, it, to helping the situation, to bring in more light to the planet? And really, the easiest thing you can do, and believe me, it works, just call in light, call in this energy, this beautiful healing energy, this energy of the truth of who we are, which is love bringing that energy in and just feeling it expanding in, in your in your awareness, right? I can feel it right now. You're just expanding this. It's like maybe you want to see it as like a little seed of light in your heart and you're just going to feed that seed of light, light from the universe, light from God. And you're going to allow it to grow and expand and, and it's radiating this beautiful light all throughout your whole energy field, expanding out into your whole town, expanding out into this whole state with the country even where you live it, I, I just like to keep expanding it out expanding it out to where it just is enveloping the whole world that's why i like to say I, I put a blanket of love around the whole world and i do this many times throughout the day i just make that connection and i send that energy out and it always makes me feel better especially on those days when you lose sense you, you lose sense of yourself and maybe you've had someone outside of you influence you by telling you all, you know, by throwing their, doesn't matter what the words they say, by throwing their energy on you, right? We're like little sponges. And it may, may, might not realize it, that you've been too influenced by everything outside of you. And you need to come back. And if you want to think of it as this little seed of light that you just feed it light, like you're watering it and you're letting it grow and expand and expand and expand and expand and expand. It always feels good. So if you're doing that with me right now, you might feel that opening. You might feel your energy expand. Eyes open, eyes closed. It's up to you. Eyes closed really usually helps to give you more of that sensory experience because there's no distraction by all the things around you. So yeah, I love that. I'm going to read the whole thing one more time, okay? Um, because every word of it, I, I really enjoy. I'll probably put a pic, I'll put, take a picture of it. I'll put it up on the screen. Okay, so it says, affirmation for higher alignment. I am, the, I am the source. In this now moment, I consciously choose to recognize everything as being part of the greater divine plan. By choosing this way of seeing, I allow all definitions to hold, all definitions I hold, to align with the highest level of consciousness. I witness everything through the eyes of the infinite creative source that I am. Okay, let's get to time for crayons. Time for crayons. Let's see what that's all about. Number six. Okay. This is a fun deck. All right, so it says, watch out for the tendency to be way too left-brained for your own good and start spending more time getting right. Okay, so meaning the creative side, the right side. Left side, very analytical. And when you're very analytical, you're more in your mind and then um, you're drawing upon, who knows, past experience, others' experience, the mind starts calculating, trying to figure things out. That always blocks you. When you can get into that creative space, then you can flow with the energy of the universe. You can hear the inspiration that wants to come through. That's right, right? So it says, step outside of the box of ego-based thinking patterns and reactivate your psychic sense and creative soul with some creative and artistic endeavors. Life becomes sterile and intellectual when you forget to exercise your right brain. This card invites you to release your inner artist and urges you to express your sensual side. Have some fun. Have some creative fun. Color, paint, sing, dance, doodle, and no. And no. Just thinking about it won't suffice. <laughs> okay. So she's saying, do it. You know, actually dancing is great. Just, just moving your body. Exercise is great. Moving your body, right? Going out gardening, um, 
playing games, sports, drawing, you know, like really, um, yeah, I guess it could even be reading, right? Inspirational things, but, and allowing your, your, your creative mind to go with the story, whatever that might be. But anyway, it says you have to do something artsy to get out of the uninspired and predictable world of five sensory rote living. You are presently at risk of overthinking, overanalyzing, and overworking your left brain. All death to your higher vibes and free-spirited sex, sixth sensory life. Yeah, you got to get into that into that flow into your true nature, which is it's just you are very psychic, all of us. And and actually, you're so psychic, you don't even know sometimes how you're picking up on energy that's pulling you down. So you want to have the awareness of energy and um, choose to do things that lift you up, to choose to say, oh, okay, I'm not going to take on... I mean, you could be with family members who have a negative ass outlook about something, and you can just decide, no, I'm not taking that energy in. I'm just going to be the light and shine it towards them so that maybe they can find their way to not be in such that low vibe. I mean, there's no right way. You just play around with it. So it says, it doesn't matter what you do or how well you do it. Yeah, there you go. No right way. I mean, my guys always tell me, there's no right way. Find your own way and keep it simple. And for me, keep it simple. is it Really, it's like going back to that childlike nature when you didn't overthink things, when you just kind of flowed with things. When you drew pictures and they didn't even look like whatever you said it was, and that's okay, right? Until some big person comes up and says, oh, no, the sky has to be blue. Or, no, don't you know your grass is always green? What, you know, that's left brain, right? I want purple grass. And I want, like, a psychedelic sky. You know, that's, that's what I choose to create. So it's just giving yourself the freedom to be in that childlike nature. In that Because that's what brings the creativity out, Okay. And uh, it says, yeah, it just matters that you express your artistic soul and put yourself solidly back into the flow of good vibrations. So I think that's what the whole thing is about, really. It's like allowing yourself to get, to acknowledge your true nature, to find your truth, to, to do things that light you up, to be the light that you are, right? We're all light workers, or we wouldn't be here. We're all of the light. So... Some people have lost it, lost their way, or have been had so much negative focused in on them that they think that is the way. But as light workers, we can turn that around. We just bring light into everything, into even the simplest of tasks. When you do things, it's like blessing your food. When you send that energy of love into everything, it makes every, people who cook through that who love cooking, their food is always delicious because they put so much of that love into it. So maybe just play around with that. Like really start looking through those childlike wonder eyes, having gratitude for even the simplest of things, finding something good about every situation, right? Like with what's going on in the world, what's good about that? We're getting rid of the dark and we're bringing away more light and the whole planet is going to transform as we do to where people aren't gonna be struggling. You know, where people will appreciate everyone. Not, there's not going to be, for me, um, you know, this whole thing with hate, uh, racism. It's all of that. It's all being pushed on people. All that labeling. It doesn't have to be there. We're all individuals. No matter what our preferences are. No matter what we look like. We are all souls. I mean, you know it. You connect with someone on a soul-to-soul -soul basis. You don't... You're not looking at any particular details. You're not, you're not, um, you're not denying the love that they are just because of what color they are, or what their beliefs are, or uh, you know what they choose to do for a living, how they dress, if they're heavy, if they never exercise, if they eat poorly, whatever. That's all meant to divide us, right? We want to be united, united through this energy of love. And that's what brings peace and freedom and all good things to the planet. And that's where we're going. That's what's happening. And these cards are telling us that, right? Manifestation. This is a perfect opportunity to manifest. Yeah. 
Yeah. And to bring that light nature to it, to always bring light to everything that you're doing. And this affirmation, I'm going to make sure I put it up on the screen so you can, uh, you can, you can screenshot it for yourself and, you know, stick it in your photos and look at it every now and then. <laughs> it's a good card. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. Um, I'd love you to like and subscribe, of course, and uh, comment below anything you'd like to share with uh, what's going on in your life or um, if anything I said today, any of these cards hit you in a certain way or in a different way to how I interpret it, um, I'd love for you to comment that. So anyway, I'll see you on another video. Bye for now.